Well, today we are in Warwick, Rhode Island at Oak Lawn Beach Elementary School, and I have the honor to sit and chat with a kindergarten teacher that inspires her students to be the best they can every day. Melissa O'Neill, thank you so much for joining me. And may I say congratulations on being Warwick District Teacher of the Year. Thank you. It's truly an honor to represent an amazing district and to um, represent amazing teachers that we have in our in our district. So I had the um, joy of coming here a few weeks ago and joining you for your morning meeting. And it was amazing. And let me just say that the best thing about visiting teachers is that I get to take some of these amazing ideas you guys have and bring them back to my classroom. And I definitely did that. So I know it's really important to you to create um, an environment where your students can meet the best success. And one of the ways you do that is you create a school family. And I'd love for you to tell me more about that. Oh, absolutely. So in our classroom, being a school family is being united. And I feel when you are having students feel like they belong and they're part of a safe environment and they matter in your classroom, that they will come become a school family and we are one. So what is a school family? A school fa a family is creating in an amazing classroom for them to be able to ready to learn and to help keep it safe. So for me, I am a safe keeper and their job is to help keep it safe and to learn. I teach that they will be able to learn. And as we do it, we, are, are, we, we start off with our greeter. So we have a greeter every day that will greet them. We have a greeting apron. How would you like to be greeted? Once you greet and make that connection, right in the beginning of the morning, they are ready to learn to be part of our family. So they feel welcome. The minute they come in, yeah. someone's greeting them and welcoming them into this environment. I love that. And that's a job for some. So we have fa school family jobs. And that is one of the jobs that one of our students will have in our school family. They will be the greeter and they will greet at the door. And you can tell like once they start greeting, they're ready to come in. They feel accepted. They belong. Everyone belongs in our school family. Yes. And we teach, we teach them be, how do we be a kind friend? How do we be an ongoing friend? We're problem solvers and we are communicators. We want friends to know that it's okay to use their big voice to say, I don't like when you do that. Or empowering, wow. them. empowering them to be their self and to be a lifelong learner. Yes. And that's what that's what I thrive on. And I absolutely love teaching. Teaching is my joy. It's my passion. So what I can give to these, these kindergartners every single day that is in front of me is just a gift. I love you say that it's your passion. You know, I say all the time that waking up every morning and being excited to go to work and then I get to go do a job that I love to do every day is amazing we're so blessed to have that so walk me through that morning reading ritual routine that you do so in our brain smart start we call it a brain smart start day we come we gather in the group area and we review our commitment so we have classroom commitments and we talk about how it what does it look like having watching eyes and safe hands kind words calm body how can we keep ourselves safe and our friends safe we do it in a different way. We build a Mr. Potato Head. We uh, we have a friend who does the commitment book, so they are in charge of showing us the commitments as a class. We will we will talk about it, and each time we say kind words, Mr. Potato Head's mouth goes in, or looking eyes, their eyes will go in. And once the potato, Mr. Potato Head is all built with being our safe and our classroom commitments, we are ready to have a brain smart day. And what does that mean? Like, we're ready to have a freaking smart day. We're ready to learn, and we're ready to be safe, and we're ready to start our day. And it's really getting their brains and their body ready to learn and knowing that they can do it. We're here. We've got this. We are a school family. We're ready to go. And I find once we do that morning ritual every day, we know that they're ready to have a brain smart day because they'll tell us we're ready to have a brain smart day. But if we have a friend who is not here, we wish them well. Mm -hmm. So we have a well-wish board. And what does that mean? So we have all our friends on the board. We have an attendance taker. They take the attendance, the friends who are not here, they go into the heart. We bring the board back to our morning meeting. We put our hands on our heart and we wish our friends well who are not here. Even if friends are here and they're not feeling well, just not having the greatest day, we put our hands on our heart and we wish them well. And we'll have friends saying, I can feel the well wishes. Oh, we want them to it. feel those well wishes because we are here to support everyone. 
Some days we don't have a great day. We call that an oops. It's okay to have an oops day. We turn it around and we're ready to go. So when you're talking to a student, make that eye to eye contact, have them feel like, wow, she sees me. I'm important. I'm part of the school family because maybe they don't have that other than here. So when you come in, we are a family and this is how we treat each other. And again, noticing is, a, is the key. Like, I'm noticing that you feel sad or I'm noticing that you are unkind. What could you do differently? But have them use that voice and be in charge of themselves. Giving them those choices is so powerful because they're like, wow, she sees me. She gets it. I might be having a hard day, but I know that I am loved and I am accepted. And And you also are really big on letting them notice that they're doing amazing things. And I love that you say that too, you know. I noticed that you, you know, are making good choices. I noticed that you picked a good spot for yourself to sit in. And that's just as important, um, building that confidence in them and letting them know that you're noticing that too. Um, I took that back into my classroom. I really try to make sure that I'm telling my students the things that I notice that they are doing um, and validating the fact that they're here with me today and being present. So as a school family, how can we support maybe that one little friend that's having a difficult day? But when we are all following our commitments, we have gem moments and we count those gems and they are, you can tell they're proud of it yes. because students will say, is this a gem moment, Mrs. O'Neill? And I said, I think it is. But I said, tell me why. What did you see? So I want them to be part of that, part of that noticing that we're doing a great like we're doing the right thing we're being safe we are learning we're ready to go so once they're noticing it that's powerful because then they can support their friends and might not be having a, 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 might be having a difficult day we want them to be able to feel proud of our school fails yeah. so if we have a compliment in the hallway they're like mrs o'neill we just got a compliment I'm like that's a gem moment yeah and, uh, and we celebrate and then once sure. all our gem moments we fill up our jar that as a class, we do a little celebration cheer, and then we are able to celebrate. We do something special. We vote on it. Like, what do you want? We could have extra recess or maybe have an extra special snack. But again, they get to vote. They get to choose because they work choice. so hard choice. to earn those gem moments. And I feel so lucky that I got to come in and be a part of it and learn from you. You know, I'll do better when we work together and we learn from each other. And I just want to thank you for taking some time out of your day. I know how busy you are um, to sit down and chat with me and allow me to shine some much deserved light on you. If I could share just a small piece of what we do, it's truly amazing. No, it, it is. It's a very great place to come. And love to have so you. Well. Thank you. And thank all of you for watching and make sure you continue to watch and see where I end up next and who will be sitting in the chair next to me and having light shed on them. Thanks for watching!